Hello and welcome to my Jasper.ai brand voice tutorial. This is a new feature and it's a phenomenal feature. As you can see right here, Jasper can match your writing style with what's already written. And to give you more details about that, that means that you can stay congruent with all of the writing that Jasper does so it sounds as much as you as possible, which is something I happen to love. If you haven't gotten to test this out or you would like to test this out, I will leave a link down below. And if you click that, you can get your Jasper free trial. Let's begin. So first and foremost with the voice name, if you're going to be utilizing your own probably just good to write your name in there so allow me to do that all right so i have james there and now what we can do is either paste in a url for a specific article that you have or what you can do is just kind of type something in using your own brand like your tone of voice so if you were going to write something like what would it sound like how would it sound would it be witty would it be exciting for me overall i would say like i've done this before to test it out be like a confident you know fact driven kind of witty kind of excited you know a little playful that type of thing where we can have fun with something Thing, be excited about it and of course maybe you know throw some jokes in there every now and then so i'd say that's more of my type of voice so what i'm going to do is just write a few sentences and then what it's going to do is analyze it and then we can use that for all of our templates and our writing so this is going to be the first step give me one second and i'm just going to type in a few sentences here all right, so here's what I came up with. So is it possible to build an online business with a shoestring budget? You bet you can. And don't listen to any of the naysayers that say it can't be done. In fact, to take it a step further, don't even take advice from someone who has done nothing but give up on their goals. You can achieve anything that you put your mind to. And I am living proof that you can successfully build an online business on a shoestring budget, especially since I started off on unemployment over 10 years ago. Okay, so just more of like a motivational thing is more of uh, answering a question as well in kind of a witty and a uh, fact-based way. So what I'm going to do is just utilize that. Like I said, if you have a specific article that really demonstrates what your voice might sound like, you can use that as well. I just prefer to use the uh, text in there. So let's click on add voice and I'm going to keep it running so you can see what happens in the background. So it's going to be scanning the text, analyzing it as well, detecting the tone. Now it's understanding how you write, learning your style, converting to your voice, analyzing your text, and there we go. So if you just have the first, uh, what is it? I forgot the name of the plan. You just get one. As you move on up with the plans, you can get more, but I just have one. That's fine. I don't need any more. But here we are. Here's your existing voice. And of course, here's what it says. The style guide emphasizes a motivational and inspiring tone using rhetorical questions, positive language, personal experiences, direct address, repetition, and contradiction <laughs> and contradiction to engage and encourage readers to believe in themselves and their ability to succeed on a shoestring budget. Okay, so I think that one was pretty good, but the fact that it has like the shoestring budget in there, you know, I don't want that to be like with everything that was just an example. So maybe I could have done that one a little bit better. You know, there's always learning experiences here, but I like that overall because a lot of the stuff that I talked about previously, you know, fact-based, it's personal, it's inspiring, it's probably exciting too, you know, how you hear it. So I'm just going to utilize that. So let's go to templates now. So now that we've created it, of course, you can always change that around to get it a little bit better or more like fine tune it. You might not get it perfect on the first try and that's completely fine. But let's go with all here and let's go with the paragraph generator. I believe this is alphabetized. So paragraph generator, let's utilize this. Right, and before I write anything, I just want to let you know when you go to the tone of voice and just like that, now we have the one that we utilize. So first thing to come off the top of my head, let's go with, I will be back in a second. Right, in case you haven't seen any of my previous videos, I love talking about golf when it's not like internet marketing. It's just it's a Florida thing, I guess, right? So why golf is the most challenging sport to play. This is going to be a paragraph where it talks about it, uh, keywords to include. We have my tone of voice. So what I'm looking for here is nothing that has to be 100% exact. Like I talked about, if we always want to, we can edit around our tone of voice overall. But I'm looking for kind of like facts, statements, enthusiasm, motivation, stuff like that. Okay, so I'm going to click on generate. And I've noticed that content generates usually a lot quicker now, depending on how much you need to write which is a good thing. So I talked to that so you can see it. So here we are. Golf is undoubtedly one of the most challenging sports to play, and yet it continues to captivate players of all skill levels. What makes golf so unique is that it requires not only physical skill, but also a strong mental game. Every shot demands focus, patience, and strategic thinking. And unlike other sports, there's no one-size-fits-all solution. Each course presents its own set of challenges, twists, and turns. Golfers must adapt to changing conditions, read slopes, and elevate wind direction, all while maintaining a poised, consistent swing. But despite the difficulties, golf remains incredibly rewarding. 
The sense of satisfaction that comes from sinking the perfect putt or finally mastering a new technique is unparalleled. So for those willing to stick with it and put in the hard work and dedication, golf can be an enduring and ultimately life-changing pursuit. I thought that was fantastic. I think the biggest thing, like I talked about before, is that when it comes out, would I use this on my own blog where it has my own voice? And yes, would be the answer. So that's something I think you want to look for. If the answer is maybe or like kind of or no, you can always go around and change your tone of voice. Give it some better examples, perhaps write in a little bit more. That's something I talk about with every AI uh, content creator since I do so many reviews is that usually the quality of the input is going to dictate the quality of the output. So if you're not getting what you want, probably write a little bit more so Jasper can have more context to utilize. Okay, let's do one more example. So I'm going to clear this. All right, so webinars are not dead, and here is why. Let's talk about webinars, okay? So this is going to be the next content that we're going to be generating. So I clicked on that. Give it a couple more seconds. It's already done. So here we are. In a world that is constantly evolving, it's strange to think that some people believe webinars are a communication relic. (laughs) Wow, a communication relic. That's a good one. Anyway, however, the truth is that webinars are far from losing their significance. In fact, with the help of technology and brilliant minds behind the scenes, webinars have evolved into an engaging world of connectivity, innovation, and deep learning. They're an opportunity to connect with people from every corner, to share knowledge, to inspire, and to bring perspective to new and exciting concepts. From business meetings to informative lectures, webinars are alive and well and continue to grow and develop further every day. Don't believe the naysayers, webinars are most certainly not dead, but a thriving and dynamic medium of communication. Remember when I had that don't believe the naysayers? That's exactly what I said in a previous one. That is great. So what it did is it picked up on its ability to use something that I had said previously, and then it utilized it here. So that's giving me many more ideas. Like if you have any specific phrases that you find you're saying more often or more frequently, I would probably throw that in when it comes to creating your example, because it'll probably use it more often, right? If you've ever hung around a friend and they constantly use like the same phrase over and over, this is exactly what I mean by that. It's like, oh yeah, of course that's Rob. He says that all the time. So if you sprinkle around things like that in your writing, it's going to make it more similar to your tone of voice. That's exactly what we're looking for. So All in all, I hope you got some value out of this video. This is just another great way of Jasper, how it's improving. But with the brand voice, you can really sound like yourself. Like I said, it might take a little bit of managing, kind of tweaking, you know, changing around a little to get that perfect voice. But once you do, I think your content is really going to flow, especially with the unlimited amount that they're giving you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you want to check out the Jasper brand voice feature, I will leave my link down below where you can get a free trial. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you in my next video.